Hi everybody, I'm Luxia Hack here. I'm the singer of the TSN and you are watching Antichrist magazine video interview. Stay with us. Hello ladies and gentlemen. First, I must inform you that I will have to consult my notes because even if I had perfect English, my memory was never the best, okay? Then I must inform you the the guys unfortunately cannot be join us to answer the questions. However, I made sure to be here in the best way, trying to represent them at their height. Even also, they send greetings, cheers, and regards to everyone watching the Antichrist magazine interview. Well, let's go to the point. Thou Shall Not was begun in middle of 2017 by Everton Kaus, the guitar player, Ulysses Freire, the bass player and also painter of the album cover, and myself, Luxia Hack, the singer. At the time, we had another drummer who left the band some time later, and after that, when we already had the entire synchronized abduction album, just waiting to be recorded, CJ Dubiella, the drummer, takes over the drums and completes our team brilliantly. The name Thou Shall Not comes from Old English. It was widely used in biblical texts, in the sense of what not to do. Thou shalt not to kill, and a lot of another ob obligations of not to do. Why not thou shalt not to live? Why not thou shalt not to be free? That's our question and whatever, for example. I think that is the true meaning of imposition, falsely regulated to hide censorship, take away liberty by offering security illusions. In the biblical sense, it's an imposition of what not to do. In the unbiblical sense, which is what we adopt as a band, suggests that no one is obliged to do anything by impositions. No one owes anything to anyone and no one is in debt. Because which words will complete the sentence, thou shall not, wherever it's to complete, is you choose. You choose this, these words. The choice is yours, not an imposition of not to do something or whatever. There is no soul called karma in the sense of debit or sin, of course. In the sense karma is just a suggestion for humanity to escape from responsibility and lie in the cradle of victimization to be responsible for everything in the field of your perception is to be free. I personally think that the system is falling, not just there in Euro or USA, but around the whole world too. 
there are certain impositions that are no longer acceptable. Not that they were ever acceptable, but because those who obeyed these impositions were asleep. I see that humanity is slowly waking up from this hypnosis and is manifesting and exposing its rebellion. And of course, this causes disturbances. It's a reflection that the collective conscience is awakening and defragmenting itself. This is necessary to reach a higher level. It seems to me a great cartosis, which everyone goes through someday. We are being invited to observe our own darkness to choose which path we want to follow, the path of hate or the path of love. Anyway, the system will not be the same afterwards. In my conception, nothing will be as before. Maybe it gets worse, maybe it gets better. We have to decide it now. The album Synchronized Abductions is a result of a lot of determination and work and it obviously was crucial for what you can check out when you hear this first stuff from TSN. The compositions appear spontaneously because the guitar player usually brings up the team in guitar riffs. Ulysses, the, bla the best player, who is an excellent arranger and hastes the idea. Dubiela, the drummer, brings the most telluric part of the song and I bring lyrics and do the voice a harmonies. Thus, music is always in emotion. It comes from the world of ideas and materializes with the strength of all of us. Synchronize it, of course. We can summarize the album, synchronize the abductions, like this. Harmonies and narratives that lead us to the atmospheres that make the bands renounce the established speech, breaking the barriers of the five sensors of mind and soul, to fuse all dimensions, meditating on the musical frequencies and focusing in the true algorithms, the rhythm of the universe. I think because for a work to be well done by several people, their minds and souls must be vibrating in the same frequency and attunement, synchronize it, of course. And the rhythm of the universe itself teaches us that there are no coincidences. Everything is synchronized. Synchronize it with the rhythm of the universe. We understand that we are only one conscience with the universal whole. The only law that exists is that of action and reaction. All other laws are mere illusions created to fulfill an illusionary contract to make the world today a simulation. What you plant 
your harvest. If you emanate high vibration, the universe returns with the same to you and your microcosmic. If you make your microcosm a good place to you and others around you, then you are helping to make the whole universe a better place. You know, the lyrics, I think in the course of the interview, I'm already talking about them in a subtle way. I try to bring to the band something that seeks to awaken people to be interested in their true I being and to understand that I ego is the illusion which is like time and space do not exist for the universe outside the matrix where we want to return to after the great material experience. Can you see that I'm not talking about religions or idols? I am saying that they are like the rules. They, uh, they were also created and they are also illusions. Oh, your identity is an illusion. You do not exist for the system. You are just a number. Everything you produce for the system is not yours. The system even owns your corpses after you leave it. After you stop being a person. After you change your material state to another frequency, vibrating in another tune. In this matrix, the contract is only about a hundred years old or less, so there is no time to wake up. I try to explore themes of science fiction, philosophy, and animal stories, paranormal, wars, psychological, mythology, conspiracy, spirituality, politics, life and death. The band's intention is to shock the listener with impactful messages and heavy music with high vibration. Addiction. Imagining and manifesting this atmosphere, collapsing it on the cover, associated with the lyrics and the music it covers, rises the level of the work presented on the album. A well-made cover eternalizes the work in the public's minds. Everything is printed in the public's mind, through the five sensor of the mind and soul, to which we have already spoken. However, we want something more than that. We want to make the audience excited when they hear the band's music. Almost like a trigger that activates high vibration and makes people feel strong, determined, awake, independent, empowered, questioners. Anyway, the cover of the album Synchronized Abductions was painted on paper canvas and oil by Ulysses Freire, who is also the bassist of the band too. He really is a very talented guy and captured with excellence 
which or what the lyrics proposal needed to express our songs visually. Everything on the cover has a purpose. The wall with subliminal messages, the vessel that scorts the old caravels. You must pay attention if is the vessel underwater or is it just its reflection? Details that can be found only on this cover. Other details that show what is inside the caravels can only be seen when the album exists in physical format. Also the writings that permeate the cover. We're looking we looked for some style leather that simulated an ancient or extraterrestrial alphabet, or even that resembled the binary writings of Carl Sagan sent to space in 1974. So, there is the name of the band and the album. On the right, the name of the band, Thou Shall Not, in that readings. On the left, the band of the album, Synchronized Abductions. Not forgetting that the cover edition was made by my brother, Lars Sumedjian. So, we wanted to pass an atmosphere of a universe with a diversity of intelligent beings who, despite technological advances, who still seek spiritual evolution and the expansion of the consciousness, both individually and collectively. Heavy metal is a natural state of events progresses from childhood, something that is already in DNA memory, something like a program that you yourself choose to be part of the experience of life. Listening to heavy metal is a, a way of life and how everything must be managed to bring only good benefits, such as the rebelliousness is necessary to not become livestock and obedient numb. It's not the drug that numbs. It's the uncontrolled ego. It's not the ethiogen that illuminates. It's the interiorization and encounter with your inner self facing whatever is inside that illuminates. Composing heavy metal is a reaction that flows naturally as a result of the elements from which we nourish ourselves through the time. We listen to heavy metal to appreciate, to be inspired, to imagine ourselves as rock stars, and of course to do what we like most, to play heavy metal. We will also look for other elements, of course, such as blues, classical music, jazz, Brazilian music, Arabic music, also music from 70s and 80s, which was a moment of great 
creativity in the musical universe worldwide. Our influences are Nevermore, Ice and Earth, Candlemas, Solitude Eternals, Envy Malmsteen, Judas Priest, Queen's Reich, Black Sabbath, Kiss, Queen, Death, Slayer, Uriah Heep, Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, Rainbow, and many others, even within the extreme metal genres. Carlos, Ulysses, and myself, we had great experience playing death metal and black metal bands, which is certainly expressed in our compositions, because it is printed in our roots and souls. Trattery is a distributor for independent artists that sends the music of these independent artists to digital streaming platforms. It's a paid service and it's worthwhile because nowadays it's the main means for the independent artist to present his music and work to promote it. Streaming is an essential tool for storing your records and showing them to the world. Trattery is a company that facilitates this distribution and isn't a record company. Well, for us, this is a very profitable experience, and as it easily reaches the public through the social media. A contract with a label is important, is important, but it must be analyzed what the goal the band wants to achieve. What are the dreams and what challenges are the musicians willing to face? If the musician doesn't want commitments, wants to live an 80s rock star life, forget it. No one will create a monster, not again. But if the band has plans to work hard, they want to learn everything about work every day, they are people with strong personality but intelligence and accessible guys, they know how to listen and most importantly have talent and creativity. In my humbly think that they deserve a contract with a major level. Why not? A contract with a major level will take the artist to another level, level, much higher. There will be investment as the contract stipulates and the one who works well organize it and has something interesting to offer to the public will certainly be worth all the investment applied. Yes, I think a contract for anyone who wants to have, a, to have commitments from mainstream bands is important. If the band only wants to play on weekends to have fun and drink beer, stay independent. For example, we are looking for partnership to make the album synchronized abductions viable in physical formats. It will be amazing if it happens in Europe or in USA. The postponements are necessary to avoid agglomerations. It's a drastic measure that brings financial loss, but 
avoids the loss of the greatest wealth, which is public health and human life. At the same time, we will have to learn to live with the pandemic until a cure is discovered. Until then, we will need to adapt as life cannot stop. Even after the situation is controlled, things will not be the same. Perhaps for the near future, musical events will follow the open-air model and the lives will reach a greater emphasis, I hope. As I told you, the band is relatively new, founded in 2017. So we played several times in Brazilian underground houses and of course with technical limitations that many bars, bar owners offer to the bands and the majority of the bands have passed a day. This for me only adds more experience to the bands, which of course should always seek to improve their show and want the best structure to offer the best to their audience. However, this is not always possible and musicians must be prepared to solve the situation and make their best show with respect for the public. If the equipment is not the best, but it is what is there that at the moment make the show happen. The experience only gives us more responsibility to present a quality material that really touches the audience and that they are increasingly interested in the band. This responsibility makes us want to always take the show to our best with the certainty that although many events may not offer the best equipment for a band, for example, when the TSM takes the stage, it's thinking about the audience that is giving us prestige. We went up on the underground stage, but in our heads we are in another reality and we want to take however is there with us to this another reality. This is the real epic moment to make the show go on because show must go on. I can only speak for myself to answer that question. I will have to talk about of the album Obscura by a band that is taken off for the world called Semblance. The album was released about March and is really of an impressive quality and creative like international bands should be. The band has a contract with Frontier Records and it's certain that they will conquer the world. Check out. Also by Frontier Records, another band originating in my city is Electric Mob, which released in last June the album Discharge, a hard rock 
that really infects fans of the art of rock and roll. Check out. Internationally released by RFL Records, the album Royal Art by the Brazilian guitarist Kiko Shred, a virtuous and very productive musician who has been conquering the world with his impressive talent. Check out too. Another. I gladly recommend hearing these this albums. In talking about the great bands, I would recommend the album Spirits of Fire from Spirits of Fire, Firepower from Judas Priest, The Door to Doom from Candlemas, and Masters of Evil from Dinner and Sherman. They are not recent releases, I know but I put them as the most important albums for me because when I hear them, I get excited and inspired and I want to sing and make heavy music more and more. These are bands that take me in the imagination as close to what I would like to do as a singer. As I say earlier, I think that things will not be normalized anytime soon. So what we have to do is rehearse and rehearse, compose and compose, to get back to the studio as soon as possible, to record our second album that already has a lot of material. We already have a go for that. And because we the live shows with a physical audience are unknown for now. This is the best time to produce and promote bands. By the way, the priority is to contact to record levels who wants to work with us, maybe to produce the band and our staffs. I would like to end my monologue congratulating Antichrist magazine for the interview format which enabled the band to get closer to the public. Because as it said, the artist must go where the, po the people are. Therefore, a very intelligent solution that increases the interactivity between the lovers of heavy music, updating the knowledge of those concerned. It was a great pleasure for me to be invited to talk a little bit about our album Synchronized Abduction and uh, Thou Shall Not. Thanks for the invitation. We know we have a lot of things to learn and a long way to go and we just want to thank you all follow us on our so social media and subscribe listen to the album and give us feedback please share and support the metal bands as you can I hope I made myself understood and thank you very, very, very much. Thank you.